What's going on Wolfpack? In this video we're going to be kicking off a brand new death log for my indie mobile game Banana Toss. It is currently in a beta phase but it was released to the Google Play Store back in 2020. I used this release as a trial for my first ever commercial game and a lot of people loved it. So it's time to turn this simple trial game into a game worthy of the wolf gods. So kicking off the Banana Toss development, we started off by polishing up the main menu by add, replacing all the old plain black transparent panels with some actual graph, uh, pixelated graphic of a panel in the background that we measured out perfectly so it actually fitted the screen how we wanted it to. Uh, I swapped up a few buttons, I changed the plain text close button to an actual cross and then I did a little bit more work on the menu. There was a few bugs especially with the skins falling off the panel so I had to go back in and do a little bit more work on that. But then after that I started working on the um, actual item in the shop, the the template for that. I made it a bit round, I added a, I spread the button and the text out a little bit more and it looks a bit better now but I'm still not 100% happy with it. I think in the future I'm going to completely overhaul the main menu. I'm going to make the shop a lot more user friendly I'm going to make well I'm going to aim to make everything a bit more user friendly I think look a bit nicer and just basically bring it more up to date with more modern um, mobile game shops and stuff because currently it's just a very basic shop so I want to actually improve on this and make it a lot better so here is the finalized menu you can see it's got the circles the standard buttons and you know the new panel which is nice but I definitely want to improve on this so we finished the main menu, so we obviously had to check it off inside of Trello. And then once we had checked that off inside Trello, it was time to add the next in progress, which is how the biomes work. So, so I started off by just basically changing everything into chunks and give, assigning all chunks a biome. Now these chunks um, are, when you load a new biome, or a new chunk, you it will randomly pick from a biome, but it will choose three to five uh, different chunks in the same biome and place them all together. So when you're going through, you're like you'll be in a snow area, then you can change to a plains area, then you can go to a desert area, and so forth. I then went on to build a chance system. So now I can assign different uh, chances of um, different obstacles spawning. Um, so for more difficult ones may spawn a bit less and we can also change that. So in the later date, they spawn a little bit more, which is a really cool feature. So we now have completed our biome. So I move that into the done project. The next step is to get started with redesigning the new biomes. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, did you know we have a Discord server? The link is in the description of this video. You guys can come join us, get involved, talk about game development, get your help with your game, and you know, all the other fun stuff. So, guys, don't forget to check out that link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Let's continue on. I was going to explain what I'm doing in this clip, but to be honest, I think you guys would probably enjoy it more if I just slapped some music in the background and you guys can watch me do a little bit of pixel art, which I really enjoy doing. So, here you go.
as you can see on screen here is the new um, bridge we created and then I went on to create some more different tiles you can see we've got the sand desert here I also made an ice biome you may have seen in the previous clip at the start of the video we had uh, some updates to the grass pack I removed a bunch of um, unnecessary pixels from it to make it look a bit more cleaner it took a bit of detail out but i think it overall it made the game better um the bridges were my favorite looking pick slice we also did some cat um some cactuses as you can see on screen some dead bushes um i wanted to add in some rolling tumbleweeds but i couldn't think of how i would do it to make it look good and they just ended up looking a mess so i kind of got rid of that um but there's loads of new things in the game now one of those things being a wrecking ball and as you can see here here is the famous wrecking ball that smacks you flying and as you can see it smashed me straight into the ground here and i was stuck so i had to restart the game which is a bug i'm planning on fixing in the future Instant replay of the banana going bye bye bion. For the rest of the devlog, I wanted to talk about why I'm making a mobile game and not a standalone game on Steam. Now, the reason I've chosen to develop mobile games is because I can find you can get away with creating smaller games, but the game still brings a lot of values to its players on a mobile device. Uh, whereas if I was to make a standalone game, I feel the only way I could promote it and actually make it worth something to the players is if I was to uh, put something in it that's completely unique and complex. Um, but as I've only ever released one game, and that is Banana Toss, I feel it would be a bit too much work and I'd probably quit halfway through developing it. So what I want to do is I want to create a bunch of just small mobile games, some fun ones for you guys to play. And then um, once those ones have been built and I've done a few, I then want to move on to my next big project. So the next steps for Benitos is to implement some traps like the Wrecking Ball. And then I'll be adding in a new way to play called Adventure Mode. Now in Adventure Mode, you'll be able to go through some curated handmade levels instead of the randomized ones you get in this endless mode. Uh, this way I can implement a small storyline. So the banana, this can actually be like some sort of storyline banana maybe some dialogue to add a bit of fun into it um, and then basically it'll, I'm just hoping that will add a bunch of value to my already small little mobile game Okay guys, so this is going to conclude Deathlog 1 of the Banana Toss series. In the next video, we'll be adding in a bunch more features, so don't forget to come back round for that. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, keep muddy, and peace out.